People typically associate viruses with diseases, but some viruses are good. They protect our health by killing the germs that make us sick. Bacteriophages, or phages for short, are the natural enemies of some of our worst enemies, bacteria. Phages reproduce by injecting their DNA inside a bacterial cell and reprogramming its machinery to make more phages. Once there are hundreds or even thousands of these daughter phages, they burst out of the bacterial cell, killing it, and scurry off to find more prey. But phages don't infect humans. In fact, there are already millions of bacteriophages living on and inside our bodies. They're on our skin, in our nasal passages, and in our digestive tract. In 1917, Canadian scientist Felix Durrell discovered bacteriophages could be used as medicine. He traveled the world with vials of liquid phage cocktails, treating cases of bubonic plague, cholera, and dysentery in the pre-antibiotic era. Once penicillin came along in the 1940s, American pharmaceutical companies stopped making phages. But doctors in the Soviet Union and Poland continued to use them for everything from ear infections to sinus infections to infected wounds. Now that bacteria have started becoming resistant to antibiotics at alarming rates, pharmaceutical companies are giving phages a second look. One advantage phages have over antibiotics is that they are highly specific and won't harm the good microbes in our bodies. Recently, a clinical trial showed they work against antibiotic-resistant ear infections. Researchers are also using them to treat infected wounds in veterans and diabetics and to help stop the spread of antibiotic-resistant infections. Others are genetically engineering phages or using their bacteria-killing components in new drugs. In 2006, the FDA approved the use of phages as a food additive to kill bacteria like Salmonella, Listeria, and E. coli in the food supply. So if one day you read the word bacteriophage on a food label, don't be alarmed. What it's really saying is, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Anna Kuchmit.